Hey, it's John Brindell from Agile Off-Road, and we're gonna take a deep dive into the transfer case on the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter Follow drive up to 22. Here's our transfer case. This one's out of our follow drive Sprinter. You're taking power from your transmission right here. We're putting it onto this flange here. This is now a drive shaft going down to the rear end. When you push the button on the dash, you're gonna send a signal to this motor here. It's gonna shift the selector and add torque or power through a chain to this front one. And this is gonna be your drive shaft going to the front axle. So when you're driving this, not only you be driving the rear flange, but you also be driving the front flange. So now once you've got that engaged and you're in four wheel drive, now you can select the low range and we're gonna change the gearing inside the transfer case to give you even more torque. Here's one that's completely pulled apart. We're gonna take a deeper dive into this. And for the most part, the Sprinter has been kind of unique. It's been kind of a mystery box. So we get a lot of people asking how it works, how it functions. So that's what this video is about. And we're gonna show you those components here. The strengths that they have, the weaknesses. And primarily there's probably more, more weaknesses than there are strengths in this particular uh, transfer case for an adventure van, right? So here's all the components. This is the front. You're getting power from your transmission in here. This is where the low range is changed. This is your output for the front drive shaft. So now then these components here in the middle, these are your shifting ramps. These are your shifting forks. And over here, we've got our motor. It's on the outside and it actually turns this device. So this is completely a mechanical unit. There's no solenoids, there's no electronics or anything going on in here. All it is is you basically, when you push a button on there, you're sending a signal down here to turn a lever. There's no clutches, there's no solenoids, there's no nothing on this. It's all mechanical. Okay, so now we're gonna get into the component in here. This is a planetary gear. This is where all kind of the magic happens. I'm gonna cover two wheel drive where the ring is pushed all the way back. So you're in two wheel drive. We're gonna power this outer ring here on the planetary gear with all power. You're gonna notice in there that that planet in there, that gear right there is not moving when it goes around. So we are driving that through the spline here to the rear drive shaft, driving the rear 100%. Okay, so here's a little bit of a better look inside of that planetary gear. So here you're gonna see where we're shifted into two wheel drive. You notice the planets are not moving, they're stationary. And then as soon as we put it into four wheel drive, now they can move. So what this does is, this applies your 67% torque to this outer ring and 33% torque to this inner one down here, which is going to be stuck to this gear here. Okay, so now we've got the shifter fork installed. So we're gonna engage this into four wheel drive. Your shift fork's moved it. So now we're applying and we're adding power to both the, this gear here and the rear flange. The rear flange is driving the rear drive shaft. This gear is driving this chain, which is attached to this gear, which is bolted to the front drive shaft coming out of here. So now we're driving power to the front and driving power to the rear. Okay, so now that you're in four wheel drive, now your next option is go to four low. So we're gonna change the ratio coming out of here. Right now it's one to one. So we take this selector here and now we're gonna shift it. And now it is 1.4 to one. And that's your low range. So now we've got, we've selected our low range. We've got our low range power coming out of this shaft here and into here. So now we're gonna need to, remember, we gotta drive the inside of this, not the outside of it. As we're turning this, we're gonna turn both the front gear, which is driving the chain, which is driving the gear, which to the front, and then our flange on the rear, which is driving our rear shaft. Now let's simulate two things here. So I'm gonna simulate 100% traction at one of these components. And how I'm gonna do that is by stopping the one gear that has 100% traction, and it's gonna simulate a traction loss in the rear. So I'm gonna take the front and I'm gonna stop it. And now we are turning just the rear. This component here, this is kind of what makes the Sprinter transfer case kind of more like all-wheel drive type than it is really a four-wheel drive. 
Because of the planetary gear in there, we have what some people would call an open differential. This also uh, kind of has been cool for people that are doing gear changes on the sprinters. You can change your gearing from front to rear, just like Mercedes does, and not have to change out the front gear. So now let's simulate the rear, but you're gonna see something very interesting happen. So now we're gonna simulate loss of traction in the front, 100% traction in the rear. You notice it also got harder for me to turn. So what we're doing is we are turning that front tires even faster. And if you notice the white dots on there, you're gonna notice that that outer gear is spinning substantially faster. If you ever notice when you've lost traction in the sand or something like that, you notice the front tires kind of like spin up really, really fast and then hit the ground and they shoot up like a rooster or something like that. Um, and all that force, when you come up and come down and it stops, especially when it happens on rocks, is gonna break this component right here. So this is where all your power is. And once that comes down and stops, it's gonna break this unit. So this one, in fact, is broken. You can see where there are shear marks, probably from it being sheared from being off-roaded before, and it finally gave up and it broke here. So we're using the end of it to, to drive the inside. If you've ever been out on the trail and somebody out there, they break something and their vans won't move, that's exactly what they broke. The van goes into neutral. The only thing that keeps it from moving is the emergency brake. Doesn't make any grinding noise. You don't break any of this stuff. So I guess this would be the fuse on the Sprinter. All right, so to recap, uh, you got a four-wheel drive Sprinter, 22 and older. This is the transfer case that you got. Um, when you're out and you're in four-wheel drive and your vehicle's not maybe getting the traction that you wanted, not what, that, what you thought, well, this is why, and this is what you can expect. So be careful while you're out there four-wheeling. When you're in the sand, you're getting stuck. Uh, you start seeing your front tires spinning a lot and then getting traction. I'd uh, be extremely careful because you really don't want to break your transfer case. You're out in the middle of the trail in Moab. Um, you're going to get towed out. There's no other option. Uh, the good news is you're going to be stuck in neutral, so you can get pulled out on flat strap. But other than that, um, this is what we have. Um, the Sprinter's super fun. I love, love going out into the, to the desert with mine and uh, um, understanding the weaknesses. I have a new appreciation for uh, what I need to do and how I need to drive.